My name's Trousers Akimbo. That's an alias. My real name's Bill Davis. When I went to go to fine arts, there were so many fine artists named Bill Davis that I, I realized I needed some kind of an alias. But what that was going to be, I wasn't sure. I'm listening to a, uh, a movie review on NPR one day while I'm painting, and I hear um, them describe Michael Douglas running from a room, but that he said that he was running from the room Trousers Akimbo. I just love the way it sounded. Ran into my wife and said, I've got my name, Trousers Akimbo. She goes, you're crazy. I said, I'm going to do it. Sierra Art Trails is this year from October 4th through the 6th. When John asked me to do the cover this year for Sierra Art Trails, I took it literally. Okay, Art Trails, the trail is the road. You're going from home to home. You're in this beautiful environment. I remembered my hanging my paintings out in the environment. And so I decided to do a painting that basically illustrated that. Throughout the piece, you'll see people out painting in the wilderness, people picking up paintings, buying them from the vendors and tying them to the top of their cars. But it's all intermingled with the animals and the foliage and everything of the Yosemite foothills. I, I work in two different styles. You'll see if you come to visit me during Sierra Art Trails. I work both representationally um, and I worked with uh, abstraction. And I use a, a technique called multiple viewpoint perspective that was people will most know uh, developed by uh, Brock and Picasso as cubism. It's where you look at, um, look at your subject from all sides um, and then you represent all those sides in one image. So every element you look at, you look at a figure, you look at them from all sides, you might see their rear end and the front of them at the same time. Okay, so it, it allows the uh, artist to tell you a little bit more about um, their subject matter, even though they're working on in a one-dimensional surface, as opposed to a two-dimensional artist like a sculptor who can show you from all sides. So anyway, I use that technique, and then I also use something called non-local color, in which I don't necessarily use the colors that would naturally be present in my subject matter. I pick colors that work best for my composition and I use them randomly to balance my composition. The title of the cover is actually Throw a Rock, which refers to the fact that if you throw a rock when you're up in Oakhurst or in the Sierra foothills, you're going to hit an artist. There's so many of us up here. So like the painting I did for the cover, if you come up here and participate in Sierra Art Trails, you're going to follow these roads through the different communities of Yosemite Lakes Parks, Corsgold, Oakhurst, Awani, Mariposa, and visit artists in all these different locations. So that again is what I was reflecting in the painting. You'll see photographers work, you'll see sculptors work, you'll see craftspeople who create earrings and other pieces of jewelry, um, potters, uh, utilitarian pieces, beautiful bowls, platters, um, you name it. It's not just painters as I've shown in the, in the painting, but it's artists in all walks of life.